In this video, I want to show you how you can easily scrape website data using Power BI. I'm going to show you how to do it without any coding experience at all. And I'm also going to show you how you can handle scraping data from websites where the data is not in a table format. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So web scraping in our context essentially means extracting data from HTML code of a web page. HTML, if you didn't know, is the underlying code that handles how the data is presented to you on your web browser. You might want to scrape data to speed up copying large numbers of data in a page, or maybe you want to create an automation so you are updated when a data in a web page is updated. This is a Wikipedia page of London's demography. It has tons of tables and stats that we can use. Now in our case, we can just simply copy and paste this data in an Excel file and then save it. Or we can scrape this data quite easily using Power BI to get the tables that we want. So first we're going to copy the URL here. We're going to open Power BI Desktop here. And then we're going to select Get Data. And then here we'll select Web. We're going to paste the URL here. And we'll simply hit OK. So you will see multiple tables available for you here centuries, populations, historic populations, essentially all the tables that you could find in that web page that you could use to import into your Power BI reports. So let's take an example here and let's say we want to take the historical population within London. So I'm going to select this, hit transform. We're just gonna clean this up a little bit before we import it. Let's say use first row as headers and you're pretty much ready to go. We're gonna just change this into a whole number here. And you're pretty much ready to start using this data set if you want to visualize it. So let's just quickly show that. So once it's loaded, we can just show the year and population as a bar chart like this. And there we go. With a few simple clicks, we were able to scrape data from the Wikipedia page quite easily and visualize it within minutes. So what's great about this web scraping method is because the report is connected to this website, when Wikipedia updates its numbers, so let's say it adds a new year in that table, let's say it will add 2022. When we hit the refresh button in this Power BI report, it will automatically get that new change for us, reflecting that change into our graph as well. So that seems pretty easy and straightforward, right? However, in this example, as you notice, the majority of our examples are in a table format. We have a lot of table data here that we can use, but what if the data that you want is not in a table format? So here we are in the Trustpilot website. If you don't know, Trustpilot is essentially a review site that compiles different companies and scores them based on user reviews and feedback. Here we are looking at the best in travel insurance category and I've sorted it by the highest number of reviews just to see who are the top leading companies for this category. And let's say we want to scrape this data to get the list of all the best in travel insurance company, get their trust course and get their reviews. And as you'll notice that in this page, the list of companies are not actually in a tabular format that we can use, but that doesn't mean that we can't scrape this data and use it in Power BI. So let's start by simply copying the URL here and let's go once more to our Power BI desktop, get data and under web, we'll paste the URL once more. We'll hit OK. So you will notice that there aren't any HTML tables here that are being shown to us like before. However, what Power BI has done 
is it listed out potential suggested tables that it could find on the page for you. So we have a couple of pages here. I think table one is exactly what we need because it has the list of all the companies in that page along with their information like trust core and reviews, which we might need to clean up. But essentially we have pretty much the information that we need here, even where they are uh, located, their different categories, obviously not everything we will need, but this table is not inherently a HTML table, but it's something that Power BI has detected that we might want from this page. And there are also other things here which we can use. So let's start by trying to import this table one here and we will transform this data a little bit. And we will say best travel insurance. We want, let's just say for example, the trust score and we want the number of reviews, which we don't have, but that's fine. We will split this one by the pipe like this we'll remove the reviews there and then we'll remove the trust score right here change these two into the right or these three into the right data type. Company, trust score, and reviews. Remove everything else. And then that's it. In a matter of minutes, we are able to import that data, clean the table up a little bit for visualization, and pretty much ready to go in terms of analysis. So you can bring up all the travel insurance companies, their trust score, as well as the number of reviews that they got. You're pretty much able to visualize and use that data however you want, pretty easily using Power BI. Now in this example, the same way as before, because you've scraped this from a web page, this means that if Trustpilot ends up changing or having a change of who their top insurance uh, providers are in their sites. When you refresh this report, it means that the list here will also change accordingly. So if we go back to the Trustpilot website, you will notice that along with this list of companies, there are more pages with more companies that you might want to look at and compile the companies across these multiple pages. So if you wanted to do something like that, it's actually not that difficult. It's actually not that difficult. And in fact, I already covered it in a separate video showing you step by step how you can compile those company information from multiple pages. So I suggest that you visit this video where I show you how you can scrape a website like Glassdoor, for example, for company reviews. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to use Power BI as a web scraper tool to extract data from website pages. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.